Shane in Buffalo, New York. I'm glad you waited, sir. You're next on the EIB. No, I've not forgotten the FIFA guy. It's coming right up. Hi, Shane. How are you? Hey, Rush. I want to talk about Rand Paul. Um, uh, he was in the news a few days ago talking about how Republicans were responsible for the creation of ISIS. And I just started thinking about all the other ridiculous things that Rand Paul has done and said in the past that no one really talks about. Rand Paul met with Al Sharpton to discuss criminal justice reform. He wants to restore voting rights to convicted felons. He attacks Republicans on Cuba, basically takes Obama's foreign policy stance on Cuba. And I just don't understand how this could possibly be a good thing to have him in the Republican debates. Well, let me, let me see if I can, let me see if I can help you understand. Yeah. Uh, Rand Paul, uh, I met here at the EIB Southern Command Complex a little over a year ago. He came by, and he spent about an hour here. And he was clearly, he was unannounced, but it was clear he was, he was seeking higher office uh, presidency. And he already had his uh, game plan formulated. He already knew what he was going to do. And he shared with me some of it. And I didn't announce any of this at the time because he hadn't officially announced and uh, he, he didn't come by here for me to make it public, but, but now it's no big deal because he's out there executing the plan, so I can tell you. He told me, the first thing he told me was that, Rush, the Republican Party cannot win the presidency without votes from Democrats and independents and moderates. Oh, God. He, sa he said there aren't enough Republicans that we can only turn out our own voters and win. Yeah. And then he started telling me how he was going to get these non-Republican votes. He was going to uh, reach out to the African-American community, and he was going to reach out to the Hispanic community, and he's going to reach out to college students. He's done all of it. I mean, everything he told me he was going to do. He went to Berkeley. He's, he's done it. And, and what you've just described is, is part of his game plan that he described to me, not, not specifically blaming uh, Bush for ISIS, he didn't talk about ISIS with me. I don't remember what he said, if anything, about foreign policy. Uh, ISIS didn't exist when he came by. Right. So I, I, that's something I, I, I can't explain other than to put it in what I do know about his belief that he's got to get votes from elsewhere in addition to Republican votes, that his belief. By the way, he's not the only Republican that thinks that. He's not the only Republican that thinks that we can't win with just our own votes. Yeah, but he never gets attacked for it. No one ever calls him out for it. For some reason, I feel like he just, oh, that's just Rand Paul. Just like with Ron Paul. Oh, that's just Ron Paul. You know, they just kind of like, well, say, oh, that's just what they believe. Let me tell you something. That libertarian bunch, that's a very active, vocal bunch. And you go after their guys and they come after you. Uh, I just don't think, I don't see how it could be positive for the Republican Party to have MSNBC and CNN playing. In the debates, Rand Paul attacking the GOP, which they're going to do, just like they did with Ron Paul, over and over and over again. Yeah, I hear you. But, hey, it's the lay of the land. He is a Republican. Let me ask you this. Yeah. We've gotten to a point now.